Taking the next question, the question says, suppose the length of each side of a regular hexagon is 2 cm each. Let's term or name this as a hexagon which is A, B, C, D, E and F. Now the question says, if T is the midpoint of CD, let's assume this is my point T, then the question is find the length of AT. This is the length for which we have to find the answer of. Okay, let's assume this is my midpoint. AT is the length that I have to find out. Now AB is known to me as 2 and BC is also been known to me as 2 because each side is 2 cm. So CT will be 1 and DT will be 1 has been known to me. This is the only part which we know. But we also know the internal angle in a hexagon will basically be how much? The internal angle will be basically 120 degrees each. So let's see if you are able to somehow get the measurement of the length of AC the length of AC. Now suddenly this is a isosceles triangle. So if AB is 2, BC is 2, applying the sine rule, you will be able to find out the value of AC. AC will be how much? AC will be 2 root 3. I repeat, AC will be 2 root 3. Now you are able to find out that there is an internal right angle triangle which is forming up. Let me term them as A, C and T. The length of CT I am already figured out which is basically 1. AC is basically 2 root 3 and the question is about find the length of AT. AT will be nothing but 2 root 3 the whole square plus 1 square which is 4 into 3 plus 1 which is 12 plus 1 which is 13. The length of AT will basically be given by root of 13 as the final answer. Easy question you have solved it well.